Are you a deathcore virgin? Have you always wanted to pop your deathcore cherry, but never knew which band to seek out to get the job done? Are you gazing over at the other deathcore people, wishing you could be like them, listening to Infant Annihilator or Slaughter to Prevail? But unfortunately, you only listen to Asking Alexandria. Well then fear not, because I am here to help you get there. Because the last thing we want is for you to go out seeking deathcore, finding a random guy and him giving you Infant Annihilator. God, it's all toilet sound. That's how you lose friends. That's how you never listen to genre again. That's like going out to a bar looking for chocolate milk and then giving you heroin. LOL. That's not how it works. So with all that being said, I shall take on the role as the older brother to guide you through this minefield and to help you pop that deathcore cherry. So today I'll be showing you five albums to help you pop your deathcore cherry. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Let's get into this. Number one. So to start off this list, we are looking at the album, The Valley by the band, Whitechapel. This is their latest album, and in my opinion, their magnum opus. It goes into the tragic backstory of frontman Phil Bozeman in his childhood. And I must say, this is an emotional roller coaster that gives so much. This album is perfect for any person who is wanting to get into the deathcore genre, but is very unsure about where to start. For starters, it has amazing clean vocals by Phil himself, showing that he is quite the versatile vocalist and can do the most disgusting death metal growls and gutturals, while still also being able to do some of the best cleans in the game. And on top of that, the music itself is quite accessible. It's groovy, it's, they've got amazing riffs, there's enough repetition in there to keep engaged, and overall, really easy to get into. So if you're looking for an album to literally start from the ground up on your deathcore journey, I'd recommend this one, because it's both a high quality album, as well as the perfect middle ground for getting into the genre. Number two. Next, we have the French band Betraying the Martyr, which is an interesting band because technically you can count them as metalcore, but then with the added uh, vocal contributions of Aaron Matt, it sort of elevates its status to the more of a deathcore um, sort of ranking. What's cool about this band is it's pretty good if you're like strong into metalcore and you want to have a very easy transition to the heavier stuff, as it contains those iconic sort of metalcore style vocals from back in the early 2010s, uh, which is mostly noticeable on the choruses, as well as piano, adding sort of a melodic touch amongst all the brutality. And to top it all off, it contains a lot of orchestration and classical musical elements to create that sort of cinematic epicness. So if you're a person by chance who's into the more symphonic metal scene or folk metal stuff, you might just find something here to sink your teeth into. The album in particular I would go for is The Resilient. However, if you want something a bit heavier than that, if that's not heavy enough for you, you can always move backwards in their discography. Just a quick side note, very much for all these bands, if you're looking for the heavier version of them, you just have to go backwards in their discography and usually it gets heavier and heavier and heavier. But if it's too heavy, you can always move forward in their discography and most of the time, the music they make is generally more accessible the longer they've gone for. But anyway, that was pick number two. Betraying the Martyr with The Resilient. Number three. Next, we're going down under with Make Them Suffer and their album, Worlds Apart. This is a great album if you also by chance wanted to check out the gent side of things. Because even though Make Them Suffer is not strictly a gent band, they do have a lot of gent elements. So if you wanted to stray into the more gentier side of uh, things, you can do that through them. Interesting about them is they add also a, a piano as well like Betraying the Martyr, and has sweet, angelic female vocals to accompany Sean's ridiculously heavy, screamy vocal style. And with that sort of match, it's pretty much a good combo for anybody wanting to get into things. It still retains a lot of those metalcore elements, but it definitely is more suited to being in the deathcore scene. One of the few deathcore bands that I first discovered that actually had piano, female vocals, and because of that, you know, it's it's unique in that sense. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, go check them out. The album is Worlds Apart. And as always with the last one, if you want something heavy, you can go backwards in their discography. Number four. 
Moving into the more darker side and heavier part of this list for the last two, uh, this one I'm looking at the Evolve EP by Chelsea Grin. Now Chelsea Grin is another one of the deathcore veterans on this list, and on this album they sort of switched up their game a bit. This album saw the inclusion of guitarist Jason Richardson, bringing technicality virtuosic guitar playing to the band. Also, this album brought in clean vocals, and this is very apparent in songs such as Don't Ask and Don't Tell. Like previous albums discussed in this video, they've also brought in orchestral elements, synth elements, so they've sort of expanded on their sort of sound in general, trying to be a bit more accessible to more mainstream audiences. And I think it's a really good combo. Most of the time, this album, yes, is still brutal and heavy as fuck, but it does have those embellishments of more accessibility and mainstream uh, elements to get the more newer fans into this band. Uh, me in particular was one of them. So in my deathcore journey personally, uh, this was the first album that got me into Chelsea Grin because their earlier stuff was just too, I don't know, brute, brutal for me at the time. I was a young man. I was still new to the game. The Evolve EP for me was sort of my gateway into Chelsea Grin as a band. So Chelsea Grin's Evolve. Number five. And finally, we come to our last pick, and also the heaviest pick on this list. But let me paint a pitch for you. It is 2007. It is the rise and the peak of the deathcore wars between Suicide Silence and Thyar's murder. Spoiler, Thyar put out Dear Desolation. Now, Dear Desolation was an interesting one because up until this point, our Messiah and Jesus, aka Daddy Deathcore, CJ, had not been in the band. But just like Jesus, he rose again after three days or in this case, maybe two to three years, and came out with Dear Desolation. Now, Dear Desolation is probably their most accessible album in their discography, besides Human Target, as it opts for just straight riff bass goodness. It also has its technical moments. On top of that, it has CJ doing probably his best vocal deliveries to date, and overall just an amazing album with great heavy riffs, amazing breakdowns, and everything that Die Hard is good at. Also on the side, if you ever wanted to get into Behemoth as well, this is also a good album because even though it's not a Behemoth album, CJ tries his hardest to be Nurgle himself and a lot of the material on this album is heavily inspired by Behemoth. With a side fact that Die Hard has an inside sort of joke where they've been trying to get Nurgle to feature on one of their albums since the beginning. So if you ever wanted to get into Behemoth as well, you can always use this album to get there. So anyway, those were my five albums to help you pop your deathcore cherry. What did you think? Write down below. And also let me know what was the album that got you into deathcore? What was that quintessential album that you listened to and thought, yeah, yeah, I could, I could get into this. I could get into this. Yeah, this is for me. So write that down below. I'd love to know. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I'd also appreciate if you guys went and subscribed to my channel. I try and put out videos as often as I can. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.